The main thing I learned in 2022 was uh, Clojure. I uh, worked on a project and Clojure was used in one of the components in this project. And it was really the first time that I worked in um, a software project that fully used functional programming, also Lisp. Uh, the, the parentheses can be kind of scary for somebody who isn't used to that before. Um, it was good to have that kind of experience and learning a new language helps with every other language that, uh, that you learn, that you know. Um, you take principles from one language and you can apply them to other languages, just different perspectives that you hadn't thought about before. And then you take that back and it really helps with your productivity in general. I would say that a book that I would recommend is The Open Organization. Um, when I worked at Red Hat, the CEO at the time, Jim Whitehurst, published this book about um, the way that we, that we communicated with each other in regards to making decisions. And I think it's something that could really help with um, fostering this communication, fostering discussion. It's not to say that a company has to be a democracy where everybody has an equal say, um, or an equal part in the decision making. But really, just having this kind of communication to say, this is a, uh, this is a decision that we want to make. Um, what do you think about it? And the people all the way down to the lowest entry level developer, all the way up to the C-suite, um, people could have insights and it can really help uh, an organization make the best decision it could. A software development event that I really like is Spring I.O. Um, it's held at the end of May here in Barcelona, and it's about the Spring framework for Java. Um, what I really like about it is that, one, it's got a lot of good sessions, a lot of good speakers, and you can really learn some stuff about this system even after all the years that you've spent working in it, like I have, but also it helps you really get an idea of how the uh, how the whole community is going, where the community is going towards. Um, like this past year was about the new version of Spring, three, uh, Spring Boot 3.0, Spring 6, and um, all the new features that were happening there. Back in 2019, it was about the really the full acceptance of Kotlin into the Spring ecosystem, and so on. So really. Um, kind of a two for one that you get there when you go to these, uh, this event. I would say that an insight that I have about software development is that um, to be a really effective programmer, it's not as much about intelligence as it is about uh, diligence or initiative. I mean, sure, we'd love to be the smartest person out there. We'd love to be smart enough to make a new sorting algorithm or invent a new programming language, but most of us are never going to have to need to do that in our lifetimes. It's, most of it's just um, helping to build a web server, um, a new service for a company. And there's a lot of stuff that has to be done in that. And a lot of it is about um, crossing the T's and dotting the I's. And sometimes the, these might not be tasks that we want to do, but really they're tasks that help um, not just make the, the program run better, but sometimes they can um, just make our own lives easier. Uh, we, we want to write this test now so that um, we change the code uh, two months down the line and we, we keep ourselves from screwing up um, by introducing some kind of regression error. And that's, that's not intelligence, it's, dil it's diligence. It's making sure that you do the job done as well as you can.